All right, so I'm pretty pumped right now. I just received some stuff from Academy and I really appreciate it. Super excited to see this, um, to get anything, especially from uh, a company like Academy. So I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna show you every open one box. I'm opening the rods right now. So I'm gonna switch hats and then we're gonna take a look at this. And we have a container, right? Long cylinder container. Looks like some rods. Well, it is. So let's pull these out. And let's set it down right here. Take a look at them. Man, I'm pumped. I mean, it's like, to me, it's like Christmas. And if you know me, I'm, I'm a pretty decent, humble guy. So for anybody to give me anything even if it's a handshake or a hug I'm very appreciative but for someone to get like a company like Academy to give me something like this to test out and a lot of this stuff is kind of new and prototype stuff so I'm freaking super pumped about it so we're gonna check out some of this and see what it looks like let's see oh my god this rod feels so light already i can tell my goodness this is the tac 40 oh man carbon tech all right let's see this next rod how many is there it's like one two three four five six seven eight is that really eight of them oh my gosh i don't even know what to think it's insane Hey everybody, what's up man? I just want to talk to you real fast. Sorry for the mess kind of in the garage and in my messy garage at home, but I just want to talk to you real fast about some of the stuff that I just got in from Academy. Now I'm really excited about this. I mean, I know we all love free stuff, but it's extra special when it's free and it's quality things, right? So I got some very good quality lures that I'm excited about. They're very similar to a quirky style lure not necessarily the same thing but they're very similar in the way you're gonna fish them and the way they're gonna move in the water and the way they feel they have that that same soft texture on the outside and that hard harder surface on the inside right so they're not gonna tear up like super easy like some of the softer baits and they they're not hard so they're not a hard bait so one of them one of them I want to show you is right here. This is the hover shad, right? So these are all hover shads. So this is a big belly. So you can see right there how it has that nice, big, pro pronounced belly. Is that you can bend them and shape them, right? So you can put that tail down where it's going to give you that more pronounced, that more pronounced curved, or if you want it to change the dive angle and change the the angle that it's diving and give it more movement so you can be able to do that and they also come with two treble hooks some vmc treble hooks so you can just see that that is very nicely done they did a great job on these lures they sent me several different ones they did a great job on designing them they did a great job on painting them they're i'm excited about them so I kind of mix these up. I had these all going where I was going to show the big bellies on them, but you can just see they're just great, great designs. You know, great lure. I'm I'm excited about it. I can't wait to try them out. One of the other ones that they send me is a, a softy. Again, they're hover shads, so they're sending me a softy one. This is a three and a half inch, and same kind of setup, right? So you can still move this here, bend this down some, bam, get that nice curve there nice more defined gonna dart down a little more for you you know so you can get that working for yourself they send me a few of these and again oh, that's the big belly you can see the difference right there so that's the big belly and you can see all the different selections they have online or next time you go into academy this h2 express guys so you can see that they're you know they make good they make good quality 
stuff H2 Express. I haven't been disappointed in anything. You know, I'm a budget friendly kind of guy. I don't like to tie up too much of my money on my on my fishing gear. So I like to buy stuff that's I have to get a bang for my buck. And with H2 Express, I, I do just that. Them and Magellan and some of the other brands out there, store brands, is you know, you never know what you're gonna get. You know, you don't know how long it's gonna last. Is it gonna be worth my dollar? Should I just pay more and get something that's a a non-store brand? But the H2 Express, they're they're great, great brands. I haven't been disappointed at all. And this is their three inch. So you can see it's exact same as their three and a half inch. It's just half an inch shorter, right? So you can see that. So these are good, these are great. Again, they all have great designs. And you can all bend that get, and get more of that curvature on there. So those are that's what they send me. They send me those lures. I'm excited about them. Can't wait to get on the water and try those bad boys out. So one of the things that Academy have, has sent me is their premium bait locker. Okay, so this one offers, I believe, 46 different modules inside where you can customize your box to fit pretty much any lure that you have. So here we go, you just simply take out these little, I don't know what you would call those, little partitions. You could take those out and you can leave them smaller or you can leave them bigger to fit some of your bigger lures. You can leave them smaller if you have jig heads or split weights or anything anything of that nature. Make it as big as you want. Take all this out and just fill it all with soft plastics if that's what you want to do. So these are great. This is a heavy duty, hardcore, heavy duty locker box, right? It has impact resistant, module design, can create 46 components, lid opens up to 180 degrees. This retails about 20 bucks. So $20, I mean, you can't beat that. You can't beat that price. H2O Express. The things that Academy sent me was their TAC 40 rod. And now this rod is one piece. It is it is multi-module blank. Now what that means is, I'll show you right here on their little card, is that their blank is gonna be made up of different fibers and they're all gonna be going different ways and different angles. So you have different patterns. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna strengthen the rod without making it heavier so this is a pretty lightweight rod and great quality now their handle is carbon fiber and it's going to be a one piece now this is a pretty slick rod handle it feels great in the hand one of the things that i noticed right away is that it is just carbon fiber there's no padding there's no cork it is a nice rod very slick to to your hand so what I'm thinking because it doesn't have a lot of times you know you're messing with those fish and you get a lot of slime on your hand it doesn't have anywhere where it's gonna really grab and stick to it so what I'm thinking uh, I don't know yet I haven't been on the water with this rod yet but that's what I'm thinking but it feels great as far as it does to the touch of the hand so it feels a little different because it doesn't have that pattern and it is like pretty really smooth but I think it's it's a good different to me in my mind they sent me five of these rods to try out and test out for them. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of pond hopping with this. I'm also gonna introduce these to saltwater. I know they're not designed to be a saltwater rod. I'm pretty sure that they're designed for freshwater, but as long as you rinse your stuff and keep it clean and rinse off that salt, I don't see any problems, especially with the guides. I don't see any problems that I'm gonna have by introducing this and fishing this to the saltwater. Most saltwater anglers are guys like me that fish salt and fish in the freshwater a little bit. Most of these guys, most of us anglers, we don't have issues or really see any issues with going back and forth and fishing what is freshwater or designed to be freshwater. We don't have that those issues with them in saltwater. Again, if you don't take care of them, then you're going to have issues with salt melt water, no matter whether it's developed for fresh water or developed for salt water. But most of the anglers that do fish salt water, we do fish freshwater gear and salt water. Freshwater baits, freshwater jig heads, freshwater hooks. You know, people design them for something and then we, we own them, we, we take them and we use them for wherever we want, right? That's part of the, the great things about being a consumer. But anyway, 
these retail for about 100 bucks but this is really lightweight it feels one of the other things that i'm really excited about that they sent me was their solid six inch shore rods now these rods are going to be a little more heavier than your normal standard graphite rods the reason for that is that they're going to have a core they're going to have a solid core right so their carbon core is going to be solid which is going to make these guys pretty much indestructible so I took one out yesterday and it's not like heavy, like I can't cast it and fish with it a lot, but these guys are more designed for f live bait, cut bait, dead bait. So the, this is more like for the big game fish. They're stainless steel eyes with a cook full court grip, which feels great in the hand. And like I said, solid carbon carbon blank so you got a solid blank in there and they're designed they're designed to use for the big game fish those those red bulls those big bulls fishing out there in the jetties doing some rock fishing you know casting this line out and letting put in the, in the rod holder and letting it sit even if you take them out in the kayak with you this would be a rod that I bring secondary rod where if i do have live bait or cut bait i will cast out and put in the rod holder let it sit while i anchor down and fish with my artificials on a different rod so not saying that you can't yesterday i used it i used it under a cork trying to get a big red on it i'm going to take it out to the jetties and get some big sheep head hopefully we'll be able to catch a nice red or two you know you start getting out there in that more open water and although they're they're inshore rods but you start getting out some in some of those more orp, open waters around the jetties and although that's still inshore fishing you uh you get a lot of those big currents so you get a lot of that stuff so hopefully i'll be able to take this out with me on my next trip and maybe even get into a big ugly i know i want to take this rod and really test it you know it says they're pretty much indestructible rods so you'll be able to get a lot of bend out of it a lot of torque out of it put a lot of weight on it without it breaking because it is solid blank so and again it's not it's not like it's heavy so i know that they're they're heavier but they're not they're not like labor heavy right it's not laboring on you it's it's a rod so it's an intro rod a nice rod i'm excited about that i'm excited about taking all this stuff out and giving it a test run can't wait till i get back on the water do some pond hopping take those tac 40s out with me one of the other things that they did send was also an ethos reel i know you guys have seen me seen me fishing with some of the h2 express reels and they sent me another one of these reels and i love these reels i can't wait to pair it up and put it on one of these guys and, and take it out and see if i catch a bass on it see if i catch some reds and some trout on it as well so even some of my 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 flounders that i love so much solid six retail for 80 bucks tac 40s retail for 100 bucks it's about 549 not too sure where this retails at but I'll, I'll throw that in there you know and these retail for you know these premium tackle bait locker retail for about 20 bucks so h2 express you know i can't say enough good things about them everything i have used uh use their nets i have used their hooks their jig heads their their lock jig heads everything i've used from them has been top notch see so for me i want to not only do i want to get my money's worth out of something i want it to exceed my expectations right i want to feel like not that i just get a deal that i didn't cost me that much to buy something but i want to feel like a deal in, that i get a deal an additional deal in my experience and its longevity when i am using it so if i pay a 100 bucks for something oh wow i feel like it's this much and then its longevity and its experience is even this much i even get this much more out of it so that's kind of where i am when i spend my money on tackling gear and let me tell you h2o express really delivers that and i'm not just saying that because they sent me some cool stuff i'm saying that because i have bought and like many of you all guys i have bought a lot of stuff at academy throughout the years so i've experienced that you know well on my own way before youtube so check them out check out some of this gear stay tuned catch me catch me using it and hopefully you catch me hooking up using it as well thanks